guys, dial it back, slow your roll, you're falling right into the trap. I don't think I've had anything Bond related or otherwise, frankly, but nothing, nothing from Bond 25, none of the setbacks, the calamities, the announcements, the leaks. I don't think anything has blown up my phone as much as this. I don't think anything has caused this much hysteria. Boy, is this blown up into something. And honestly, I, I really believe you've all fallen for it. They know how to play you. They know how to push buttons. And boy, did they succeed. So listen, I'm just going to say it. I don't even know where to begin on this. First of all, I do not believe that Lashana Lynch is going to play James Bond. That's people are reacting as if that's the case. Okay. Um, she's not going to play unless I'm wrong. Okay. I, I'm just sort of trying to read the tea leaves. I'm watching what we've seen so far. Nothing, nothing about this tells me or suggests in any way that she is poised to play James Bond or will become the new 007 going forward. If I had to take a guess, and again, this is kind of spoilerish, I suppose, but it's really not because, I, again, I'm just pan, I'm just sort of taking a wild guess. I'm throwing a dart and we'll see what sticks. So I could be totally wrong. I might be doing a retraction in a few months or, or a year from now when we see the film. But look, if I had to take a guess, we know that Daniel Craig's James Bond has retired. He's gone to Jamaica. To, to to live the quiet life with his Rome with his one and only uh, Madeline Swan. Okay. Felix shows up to drag him out of retirement because there's a crisis. Okay. My assumption here is that because James Bond has officially retired, again, not the not the fake going rogue, not the quitting just for one one movie and then he's back. He's really retired this time. So his number would therefore be retired. So another agent would come up in the ranks and become the new 007. That makes perfect sense so far. Um, if Lashana Lynch is the one playing 007, again, so what? We've had female agents before. We've had black female agents before. And by the way, if this plays out the way I think it's going to, it's not even really that flattering to the character that Lashana Lynch is playing because it seems like she's the new 007. James Bond has to come out of retirement because the new 007 isn't cutting it and needs help. So honestly, and again, I don't know how this is going to sound. <clears throat> I might get myself in trouble for this. I'm not sure. I don't, again, I don't know what upsets people anymore, but when I heard that we would have a new agent who is African-American, a female, I, I believe has a little accent in the film. Again, I don't know yet, but I, I, I thought she said that she was Jamaican, so I don't know if that plays a part. Um, and she's an agent who needs help, who can't really cut it on her own. The, the vision I got was Rosie Carver. So, and again, if it plays out the way I think, it's not even a flattering character. So the idea that that everybody's kind of jumping to conclusions that we're going to pull some Mary Sue, you know, female agent to take over for James Bond, I think it's almost the opposite. Like I said, if I'm reading things correctly. Um, so again, so she's not even, she's not taking over for James Bond. I have a feeling she's going to be a relatively minor character. Um so, but again, and, and she's probably she's probably not going to be Rosie Carver in, in the fact that she'd be inept. But but she would again just but she's not able to handle the situation on her own. So we need the real James Bond to come back to service. So, again, I, I don't know what the hysteria is all about, but but here's where I completely do understand it. And, and this is where things get so frustrating, so frustrating now, again, I'm an old school guy. I've been around a long time. I, I see how the game is played. And every couple of years, 
the new generation is going to to rise up and 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 correct all these social injustices in the world and we what we have now is this hysteria people who are so focused race and gender race and gender race and gender um that and they're they're so anxious to root out all those who who aren't on board and they're there's they're gonna fix all these these mean old racists and sexists and they're gonna they're gonna find out and they're gonna say are you are you the racist are you the racist are you the racist um and because they can't find actual racists, what they do is that they, they kind of drop these little tests all the time. And it seems like every time there's a new character introduced, well, we're going to we're going to make this character a female to change things up. We're going to make this character African-American. We're going to make this character. And, it, and it's gotten to the point where it's like anything but a white male. And that's fine. Listen, I you know, even as a white male, I don't it doesn't matter to me at all. I mean. Some of my favorite films are are films that have female stars, female action movies, and and they're some of them are spectacular. But the point being is that this is a test, and again, you guys blew it. <laughs> you you failed the test. They they put out this. They put out a look. A new African American woman is is taking over as James Bond. Do you have a problem with that? Huh? So and of course, anybody who gets upset and says no no no, James Bond can't be. Uh huh. We caught you. You had a racist thought. You had a sexist thought. You don't like it. You got a pro look. So again, guys, take a deep breath and just dial it down. Because again, let's see how this plays out. I don't think it's what you think it is. I don't think she's the new James Bond by any stretch. I think she's going to be. She she might even be a pretty minor character if I'm understanding this correctly. I, I kind of feel like it might even end up being like Monica Bellucci in Inspector, where we thought this was going to be a major character, but she was gone very quickly. Um, if she is 007's replacement or the new 007 while James Bond is in retirement, then she's really not going to be a major player. I mean, she. I mean, she might. For all I know, she could be James Bond's partner throughout the whole thing. But I don't see a passing passing of the torch at the end. And I don't see this becoming a reoccurring character. I don't see this as being a, you know... I've had people speculate to me that this is going to be, you watch, she'll be the spinoff. Remember they tried to do Jinx? Remember Jinx was going to be this 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 spinoff? Um, and thank God in heaven that that didn't happen. Um, I've heard people speculate this is going to be that all over again. They're trying again to, to spin off and, and have another female agent go off and, and do her own thing. Again, it takes them five years to put out a James Bond movie alone. You think they're going to try to now double down and do, you know, multiple series? Again, as politically correct as people want to be, I don't think they have the energy to do that. So, listen, we will talk more about this, but I do I think everybody's getting really carried away over not much, and they're again falling into the trap. So anyway, I, you know, I'm gonna I'm gonna leave it there because again, I I I feel like there's not a lot of intelligent things to say about this. I again, I agree with you. I want the character to be left alone, but but that sh that ship has sailed. I prefer the character to be a flawed character. He does not have to be a saint. I want him to smoke. I want him to, to be a womanizer. I want him to drink. I want him to be cold-blooded and ruthless at times. Uh, that's the character. Again, it's going to evolve with the times, for better or for worse. Uh, but having said that, I don't think this is the hill to die on. I don't think this is what they're making again this was clickbait this was such clickbait and and it worked it worked we are all in hysterics over this and we fell right into the trap so again take a deep breath don't panic over this let's see how it plays out this is not the death of james bond and if it is i will i'll take it all back i'll eat my words and and we'll cross that bridge when we get to it for now this is your good pal head of section saying take a deep breath guys have a cocktail tonight and 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 ease your minds and and we'll we'll just we'll revisit this and we'll we'll see how it pans out all right bond 25 is coming let's stay excited let's stay on on course and guys i'll see you next time